I've been involved with the Treasure Island Museum Association since 1997. I came here on my boat uh, because there's a nice marina on the island and when I was on the island I came into the museum and I saw the exhibits and I thought it was very special. When the museum closed I thought that was a terrible thing so um, I got involved in trying to help the museum come back. In front of the building, there are six statues that were here, that were created for the World's Fair. They're 75 years old. There's some QR codes on them so they can, you can download more information or look up more information about where they were and who, who made them and what they symbolize. Come into this building, it's, it's like going into a church, going into a temple. You know, it's a very special place. It's a beautiful building, and I think there's a lot of power here, a lot of uh, creativity. If the island is like the inventor's workshop, then the museum is the notebook for the inventor. It shows all the things that the inventor thought of and did, and the plans for things that are going to be done. I love coming here, even when I know I'm coming to work because it doesn't take long to get here, and yet you feel like you're far away from the city, and I love coming here, and I'd, I'd like to share that with people. I'd like people to know how beautiful it is. You can just come and walk around and take pictures, or there's some cafes here. You could have a sandwich or bring a picnic lunch, and it's just a nice way to get away from the city for a little while. The most interesting thing about Treasure Island Museum is the island. Uh, the island has seen so many fascinating things happen and then it's going to be redeveloped which is going to be another fascinating thing. So all the things that have happened on the island, it's such a small place, but so many, uh, so many visions have become reality. The building of the island from in, in the middle of the water and then the, the great fair here the Pan Am Clippers that flew across the Pacific, the first airline service across the Pacific, uh, and then everything the Navy did here, and the museum itself, uh, now the island is going to be redeveloped. These are all amazing dreams that people turned into reality. We feel like the museum can be like an education center to teach people about the island, because once people start living here when it gets developed and there's houses and stores and uh, restaurants and movie theaters. When they're built, they're supposed to be all new technologies to make it be a green community. And we want to, it'll be like a living museum. Part of the plan is that the developer has to provide space for the museum. So this is very important for us. Most museums have to find a place to either rent or build, uh, we're going to have that. Uh, TIDA, Treasure Island Development Authority, has given us office and exhibit space in the building. They let us use the lobby for our lectures, so they've been extremely supportive of our activities. When we finally accomplish our goal of reopening and having a, um, our new museum, I'll, I'll be very excited. I'll feel like it was something I was involved in. Uh, I'll, I'll feel you know, close to it that way. It'll be very nice.